All right, so your boy did not get much sleep last night at all. I was up so late to the point where I thought I was getting delirious, and when I tell you that when two of my videos got removed off YouTube, I instantly did think I was kind of going insane. I thought I had to go to sleep. But naturally, the news that my videos were deleted off of YouTube did the exact opposite. It really woke me up. So I get on my computer, I'm tired, I look like this guy, a straight up zombie, and I go to my YouTube studio to see that two of my videos were taken off of YouTube for violating community guidelines. Now, first thing that comes to mind, am I banned? Did I lose my right to upload for the next week or the next month? My question is, did my channel receive any strikes? Because if you get strikes, that's bad, bro. Because then you can't post new content to your channel for however long you're banned for, which is Horrible. Imagine being fired for like a week or two. My heart is beating fast at this point. And just so you know, mentally, my brain is foggy. I'm basically a potato. This is what I'm feeling in my brain right now. This sound. <laughs> I'm like, I'm straight up gone, brother. I was not here with you. All right, so I see that I have no active community guideline strikes, which was a sigh of relief. It kind of made me chill out a little bit. I am not going to be homeless. Let's go! But I go and check, and two of my videos were taken down for violating YouTube's nudity and sexual guidelines. And those two videos were two videos that I did on the Island Boys. And I think instantly, did I show anything in that video that could have got me banned? Well, I didn't show any actual nudity. Like, no one was naked in my videos. I, I would be smart enough not to put that in. But then I realize, oh, I know what I did. I put clips of the brothers kissing each other in my video, which I just want to say those clips I got from other videos that are on YouTube, which is kind of weird. Like, how are you going to take down my video where I talk about this situation, but not videos where they literally have the clips that I used in mine? So you can see here, my video was removed from YouTube. I can't make money off of it, but my channel is not affected. Like I'm not in trouble, which is good. So I actually went and read YouTube's rules on nudity, and it turns out the reason why I got my videos removed was not because the act of kissing itself is not allowed on YouTube, it's because they're brothers. And YouTube is, I guess, cracking down on the I word. Now, my thinking is that, okay, even though they're kissing on the lips and they're brothers, and we know why they're kissing on the lips, like, in some cultures, I think, in Europe, people do that. Like, family members be kissing on the lips and stuff, and it's not even, like, in a romantic way. It's in, like, a loving, like, you're my family way. I just kind of assume that kissing, no matter what, is really allowed on YouTube. But yeah, it's not a huge deal. I'm really not that mad. Obviously, it sucks, and I wish I didn't have to do that, and to be honest, I really do feel like they could have left the content up. I don't think I really did anything that bad. Like, these videos did not need to go down. I don't think anyone was getting, like, traumatized by them or anything, but I will say what does piss me off is how inconsistent YouTube is with, you know, enforcing their community guidelines, and the double standards are ridiculous. Some of you know where I'm going with this, okay? A month ago, there was a guy on YouTube named, like, Kevin Leonardo, who blew up, got 10 million views overnight because he posted a video where he showed you how to remove hairs on your butt and in the video he literally and this isn't a joke he showed his butthole to the camera 100% raw nudity now not only did his video blow up on YouTube but got 10 million views his channel blew up as a result of this so he gained a ton of new subscribers he probably quit his job or dropped out of like I don't know barber college or whatever he was doing like he legitimately got a job because he showed his butthole to the camera now YouTube did not delete this video I don't think they made it ineligible for ads. I mean, he probably got demonetized, but he still made money from the video. And the only reason he was allowed to do that was because it was educational, quote unquote, which is like a crazy loophole with YouTube. Like if you just like are butt naked on the camera, but you're butt naked, not because like, oh, it's sexual, but because it's educational. Like, I, I don't know, like, like you're doing a biology lesson or something. YouTube will not only not ban your channel, they usually won't even take the video down. And on top of all of that, you still are probably probably able to make money off of it. Like, yeah, you'll get demonetized, so you'll make a lot less money, but you'll still make some money. It's just stupid because YouTube obviously knows that this quote-unquote educational content is not actually being consumed for educational purposes. Like, I'm sorry, but if there's naked people on the screen, people aren't going to be sitting there watching the video with a notepad in hand, taking notes, and being educated. I guess I would just want to know what YouTube considers educational because you could argue that my videos, my commentary videos, are somewhat educational like I'm breaking a news story, I'm educating people as to what's currently happening. I mean, okay, yeah, that's kind of a stretch and, you know, whatever, I'm kind of gassing myself up, I'm not really an educational channel, but 
I mean, neither is the dude removing hairs on his butt. Like, dude, come on. Like, I'll just say this. If I took the screenshot from his video where he shows his butt, I would get my video deleted. Not him. Not him. I would get my video deleted. Which just bothers me. And, and listen, like, I love my job. I love YouTube. It's amazing. I can't even begin to list all the perks of it. But one thing that I don't like is that usually in a normal job, if there's a rule in the office, like, okay, you can't show your butt. That's it. You can't show your butt, right? It's not the case that one person can show their butt and not get in trouble, and then somebody else does the exact same thing, and they actually get in trouble. It's just kind of whack, and I think, honestly, some of it is luck. Like, if YouTube wants to be merciful to you and they want to be charitable to you, they will. They won't delete your video, but if they don't like you, they want to delete your content, they'll find a way to do it. I was talking to one of my YouTuber friends who's way more successful than me, and his theory, which I don't even think is a theory, I think this is just true, is that he believes YouTube keeps their guidelines intentionally broad and vague, so that ultimately, even if you think you're following the rules, the rules aren't crystal clear to the point where you're 100% protected. Oh yeah, meanwhile, all the other content about the Island Boys, it actually involves them, like these podcasts that they go on, where they basically promote their OF. No, those are definitely allowed on the platform. This one's literally titled, Island Boys Making Out With Each Other. And I'm the problem? The thing is, too, I also had to delete a third video that I made on these two because I was so scared that, yeah, even though the two got taken down for community guidelines and I didn't get a strike, the third one that I did, who knows, maybe YouTube doesn't feel so nice, so instead of just taking it down and not giving me a strike, maybe they give me a strike and then they give me a wedgie and then they molest me, who even knows? I mean, YouTube, they literally know where I live, they have my address, so who knows, like, if they don't like my content, they could literally come over here today and then, I don't know, send someone to assassinate me. And by far the craziest part is even if you delete the video, it's gone off the internet, nobody can see it, not even yourself, after you delete a video, you, you can't even see it anymore, YouTube can still give you a strike for deleted content. How does that make any sense? Anyways, I'm only a little bit worried about YouTube deleting my channel right now. I, I mean, look, anytime YouTube does something where they delete videos just out of the blue, you kind of got to be on edge a little bit because that might mean they're kind of going into purge mode. Like it rains before it thunders type of thing. I don't know if this is the warm up, like, oh, we're deleting two videos now, then we're going to give you a strike and then you're going to lose your entire channel and go homeless and be begging for money on the side of the street. Hopefully we're good. I just don't know what else to do. Like if they can just delete that stuff, I don't know. I'm a little bit on edge and it wasn't just me, dude. It was like Sensitive Society got his videos deleted, this YouTuber named MiniClin got his videos deleted, Dumpy got his videos deleted, so it's like, I don't know, if there's gonna be like a purge sort of thing, I feel like no one's safe, which is pretty bad. Anyway, flood the comments section of this video with L Island Boys, these are my new biggest enemies on YouTube. Move aside, Gorlock, I know that might be hard to do, but move aside. Move aside, the Island Boys are taking the spotlight, I don't like them, and yeah, that's about it for this video. I've been rambling a lot, I'm sorry, but I just wanna get a video done. Hopefully you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you guys all next time. Bye.